On to race number six then, and the sixth on the program. It's a 1600 meter class two, the Morris Handicap. Insatiable heads them. Joe Moreira and John Size down in trip. Beaten favourite last time out over the 1800 metres. Dark Dream. The Queensland Derby winner makes his Hong Kong debut for Frankie Law. Good standing back into class two. Mongolian King fourth over the 1400 metres last time out behind Dragon General. Helene Leading Star makes his Hong Kong debut. To be trained by Darren Weir in uh, Australia. South Australian Derby winner. Tigre de Terre now with Casper Founds with Richard Hannon in the UK. And Star Majestic, a seven time winner over the extended mile at Happy Valley. Zero from five, though, at Sha Tin over the 1600 metres. Simulation has been up at Chung Fa twice, in actual fact. Most recently, came back on the 6th, which was Thursday. All right, good to slow, possibly, with Charity Go, a horse you threw up uh, first mm. up, Andrew, running a really good race from a wide barrier, and he went forward on that occasion. You'd expect they'll do the same. Helene Leading Star has a, a, a front-running profile. Expect him to be handy with no stimulations. Also been forward in quite a few of his most recent runs. So, good to slow, maybe pushing towards a little bit more good, but it is a long run down the back stretch. Here is Insatiable, where uh, he's had a, a few runs now this season. This will be his fourth, uh, in fact, and he did win fresh up, so he is a winner with a couple of fourths thrown in there as well, but he looks good, and he's uh, come here in peak condition, does Insatiable. Does have to carry the big weight. A Dark Dream is the one we're looking at, really nice horse. This one, Queensland Derby winner, and Queensland Derby winners in the past have done well on this race. Uh, Werther, Eagle Way uh, have both done very nicely, and... This horse is going well. It was a good good piece from him. Well named too, by the looks of it. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Goldwyn and uh, Helene Leadingstar. Helene Leadingstar is, again, a, a derby winner. He's a South Australian derby. Brent Davis' is old stomping ground there, and he's called Leicester over there, mm. and uh, he's going well. Goldwyn's in another race. Don't forget Werther ran second in the South Australian derby as well. There you go. So it's a strong form one. Yep. There you go. All right. Looking forward to seeing how they uh, turn out on the weekend. Let's start off, though, with uh, John Moore with two runners uh, in here. He's got easy go, easy win and good standing. John, a couple of interesting runners in race six. Easy go, easy win. A bit of a gear change with him. How's he going? Uh, yes, um, put the blinkers back on, which is um, you know, pretty much the norm with Savva Bills. Um, but um, everybody knows we're preparing him for, um, for the derby in, uh, in March, and we're just going through the motions now. But um, um, my French riding boy uh, commented that he felt the horse was in very, very, uh, you know, in great form and that um, the mile will suit. So, um, you know, from that point of view and the feedback I'm getting from the, uh, you know, the staff and that, um, I really think from a, the good gate he's got, I think he's got what, four, five, six, um, he should be running on at the end of the race on, on the weekend. And, uh, you know, I've got high hopes for him. Good standing. Were there excuses for him last time, John? Didn't go on the ground at all. Um, that shifting ground, um, the minute he jumped out, he was being niggled by Douglas the whole way. So uh, I think you, if it was, if it is wet on the weekend, there'd be uh, some concern. Uh, a fit horse. Um, his run so far this season have been good, except for the last one. But uh, if he can get a, a firmer track or a track on the better side, um, I think he's uh, one of the horses to beat. How would you line the two of them up? It's all to do with going. Easy go, easy win. Doesn't mind, a, a, you know, some um, given the ground where um, 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 good standing, um, any cut in the ground, and he's, 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 he's useless. All right, so we're not doing the rain dance for good standing. He's got classic beauty as well, John, but not talking about him there. Let's move on to uh, Charity Go, who was a super effort uh, first up from the front. This was 1,800 metres, though. Takes the drop in trip here. And as do the rest of them. Yeah, insatiable as well. He's been a bit disappointing his last two after a good win at the Valley over Super Chic, who's come out and won two since. Mm. Um, stimulation, he's a nice horse, but he's, he's obviously not quite ready, not quite right at the moment. Star Majestic for me, been a great horse over a long period of time, but I'm happy to shop around him here. Yeah, I've got um, Charity, the Charity horse in there, uh, Charity Go. I think he can, it was a really good debut run from him. And I'm going to put Insatiable, and he, he's, yeah. he's probably one of the fitter horses that'll be in here. We'll, Match fit anyway. I think he looked a group horse at the start of the yeah. season, but um, last two have been a bit on the softer side. Yeah. All right, back to the trials. If you have a look at the uh, three debutants here, Helene leading Star Dark Dream and Tigre de Terre. I've got two of these in. I think they're both real forward to make some good uh, to go well. And I'm going to put Helene leading Star on top. I've liked what I've seen in the mornings. Dark Dream as well. You can see he's not being let go in the Rapid Dragon colours there. Tigre de Terre, I'm going to wait. I don't like him at this stage in his career, but the other two I think are going to be leading chances in this. 
Yeah, I uh, tend to agree. Dark Dream and uh, leading Helene Leading Star both go in for me. Dark Dream races in the colours of uh, Ribbon and Rapid Dragon. Mm. Helene Leading Star is the favourite then, Paul? Yeah, I've got him on top. I think he can go really well on debut. and uh, it's You have to be a good horse to win on debut here, especially in Class 2. I think he is, though, this horse. So he's on top to beat uh, Charity Go who was a really good debut run from him. I've got Insatiable in there for third, and Dark Dream. I don't think he's quite as forward as Helene Leadingstar, but he's going to be a really nice recruit up here. He looks like a really nice horse. 10, 11, 1 and 3, but I'm happy to take the 10 to win. Graphics man's happy, Paul. 10, 11, 1 and 3 for me as well. Same order, same reasons. Boom. 10, 11. Loving a boom. One and three. Hopefully we will be. Yes, after race eight. All right. Well, you don't have to do any of my graphics, but I've got him on top. I went with the eight. Mongolian King, I think, is a good effort from him last time out. Yeah. So we'll take Fair a enough. shot at the stumps with him in race number six. All right, short break for us. Two more Group 1s to go. Next up for us is the Longines Hong Kong Mile.